ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. After rain hampered the Bahamas Baseball Association's Andrew Rogers Junior Nationals this past weekend in Grand Bahama, some divisions were not able to get in their championship games. That forced the BBA to hold an emergency meeting last night, and tournament director Shane Orby tells us they have come to a decision. We've consulted with several of our international partners, as well as peruse the rules that we set for our baseball championships. And, and based on those two things, consultation and the rules that we set, uh, we decided that we will go with the winners of pool play and crown them champions as such. In the event teams did not play each other during pool play, we then went to our rule where the next deciding factor is runs allowed. So here are the official results. The eight and other goal going to Freedom Forum, silver to JBLN and bronze to Grand Bahama. JBLN took the 10 and under goal, followed by Freedom Forum and Legacy. 12 and under winners from Freedom Forum, silver to JBLN and bronze to Grand Bahama. The 16 and under, Grand Bahama taking the goal there, JBLN silver, Freedom Forum the bronze. As for the two divisions that were completed in the 14 and under, Freedom Forum beat out Grand Bahama with JBLN taking bronze. As for the 18 and under, just two teams there, Grand Bahama winning over JBLN. After being taken number one overall by the Phoenix Suns in last week's NBA draft, expectations high for Bahamian DeAndre Ayton, but he says he is ready for his rookie season. I embrace it a lot. You know, um, I, through my career, I will always had that chip on my shoulder. You know, um, when it comes to expectations, you know, um, you know, I'm representing the whole nation, and you know. Uh, try to be the best player I can, you know, the only thing I can possibly do is really just help this team start a winning legacy here and, you know, just try to be the best two-way player. Our men's national basketball team in Puerto Rico ahead of their FIBA World Cup qualifier later this week against the U.S. Virgin Islands. We got this update from head coach Mario Bolek. We have uh, had three practice thus far. Uh, practice is going well. All of the players are in town. Um, the guys are excited. The players feel uh, good, well. They feel very, very good about the um, chemistry that is on the floor. We'll have at least seven practice in that would allow us to prepare for this game on Thursday against the U.S. Virgin Island. The coaching staff is uh, also excited and very comfortable and feel very confident on what we have here on the floor before us. The guys know the challenge that is at hand. Um, they are up for the challenge. And they strongly believe that this is a game that they will win. Uh, we can see the confidence in the guys' play. We can see it in the IQ of play uh, on the basketball court. So um, we're confident that we'll get the job done. Michael Carey Jr. is one of the players who will suit up for the Bahamas against the Virgin Islands. He, too, is confident. We have the elite Bahamian guys right now back. And, uh, you know, our guns are loaded. Pretty much, we got you know Buddy coming in. That's a big, that's a big upgrade. Uh, it's all elite guys. You know, we're probably missing probably Franco Miller Jr. and DeAndre Ayton, but it's all uh, it's all elite behaviors we have. Team Bahamas has brought in Chris DeMarco of the NBA champion Golden State Warriors to be on their coaching staff, and he's done his homework. Watch a video on all the guys. Um, tried to. Look at their strengths and weaknesses, and the same for the Virgin Islands and Dominican Republic going forward. And as Mario said last night, uh, we talked a lot about going in the next game, what we want to do, uh, what it's going to look like for us. And we've kind of kept up that dialogue in the past few weeks, too. To make this trip possible, some assistance was needed. And as Kelsey Johnson tells us, one of the country's mega resorts has stepped up to assist with this and other sports-related ventures. You've seen some of the top collegiate basketball players from Division I teams in the NCAA hoop it up right here in the Bahamas. Whether it's the Battle for Atlantis or Summer of Thunder, participants can all say they threw it down in paradise. These basketball tournaments were all branded by mega resorts like Atlantis. So why hasn't Bahamar taken the assist? But it's very important that we broaden the base and not replicate and not do some of the same thing. So you may see 
a battle for golf, or you may see a battle for soccer. Um, concept may be the same, but broadening uh, the view or the vision uh, in, in trying just to increase the marketability and the equity of the Bahamas brand abroad and making this destination a, a choice for sporting federations of all types to come. Minister of Youth, Sports and Culture, the Honorable Michael Pintard, reiterated the government's position when it comes to expanding sports locally, regionally, and internationally. We are interested in public-private partnerships, and each of the trips we have taken, inclusive of the most recent trip to New York, uh, we sought to connect with persons who indicated prior to travel that they wanted to have a real discussion about public-private partnerships. Uh, that would assist us in building out facilities on those islands where there are none and to enhance the ones that are that are in New Providence and in Grand Bahama. Bahamar is the official sponsor of the men's national basketball team that is in Puerto Rico getting ready for their third round of play in the FIBA America's World Cup qualifiers. Some of the things that we have not paid the same level of attention to in the past are drivers for potential business and exposure for this country and that is particularly the reason why our approach is slightly different in terms of our committed community commitment in terms of either sponsorships uh, etc going forward with the backing of bahamar team bahamas hopes to soar they play the u.s virgin islands on thursday kelsey johnson zetnest total sports while our men are gearing up for competition, our women's national basketball team just finished up their first FIBA Caribbean Cup qualifier. They held their own against much bigger teams like the Dominican Republic in securing that third and final spot in the next round. The Bahamas was the best team in that matchup for them. Like, if you see the scores, people expected us to get blown. Like, they would bleed out Barbados and stuff by, like, almost 100. We lost by 15. So, like, and even Cuba, like, he was there watching us, that coach from the other team. And he, I think he was like scouting to use like uh, what we use to play against them, like to prepare his team. So that, that goes to show that, yo, they taken from the Bahamas, like they wanted to not play Bahamas. So they came to use our strategy against the team they're playing the next day. So we wasn't too far off. So we know what we have to do to win. And we're not really scared. So it's good like we going into something not, not surprised, but we know who we playing. We didn't get what we wanted, but it's better than nothing. At least we qualified, some teams finished, but we get to keep moving. Ashley Moss was one of the players to compete for the Bahamas at the Caribbean Cup qualifier. And while there is still some unfinished business with the national team later in the summer, she also has other opportunities on the horizon. Oh, I just got done in school in Montreal, Quebec at Concordia University. I'm about to play pro. I'm working on a deal in Spain right now. I ain't going to be my first, yeah, so I don't know. I'm just, I don't know what to expect, but I just got to get ready for it. It's summertime, and the Jeff Rogers basketball camp is back. For more on that... Here's Charles Fisher. The ball started bouncing Monday at the Kendall Gill Isaacs gym with a little over 150 youngsters, boys and girls getting in their drills, ages 5 and under to over 15. Quinton Demerit was once where these kids are at now. So far, so good. The kids are coming in willing to learn. We got a good group. Hopefully more kids coming at the end of the week. What is being taught at these different levels? Basketball is like the last thing we teach. It's basically about character, discipline, and how to get, how to, how to get through with life, life activities. Monday, Wednesdays, we do skill work. Tuesday, Thursday, we do a team, team, a team, team type, team type drills. St. Augustine's College Big Red Machine God, Carolyn Baptiste is here working on a craft. We've been working on fundamentals and, you know, just in, um, growing and developing our skills. So it's been fun so far. I came to, you know, continue to develop my shooting skills and, you know, work on defense because defense creates offense. Savion Laramore attends Redemption Christian Academy in Boston. Hard work pays off in the long run. I'm just trying to get better offensively, defensively, everything, mental awareness, everything, offensive awareness, just get better at everything. Um, how's it been so far to it? It's been great, you know. Um, yesterday was light, now today is something different. They're switching it up on me, so I gotta adopt faster now. The camp will run until July 20th from 9 to 1 each day with some of the best instructors in the game. For Zedness Toll Sports, I'm Charles Fisher.
We have more tonight from last weekend's B3 Senior National Track and Field Championships at the original Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. In the men's 400 meter hurdles, this one was all about Andre Colebrook. He cruised to the national championship, winning in 50.74 seconds. I had a good start, stumbled over a few hurdles coming down the back stretch, and then I tried to like catch myself on the back stretch, and then you know try to position myself in the race. But my last few hurdles was it wasn't as, as good as I wanted it, so I just had to hurry up and finish the race and finish strong. And that will do it for sports. Stay tuned. The Bahamas tonight comes back after the break.